It's Friday, so you know what that means. It's time for the Fashion Pack, who are in the house, bringing us all of the latest on the world of fashion, entertainment, and gossip as well. Now, this is the first time since I've seen her, since I've been back in my eyes. My eyes, Robin Khan, your hair is absolutely amazing. Welcome. Margot Knappa, welcome to you too, and Alexis. So good to have you guys Yay. back. Yay. Wow. And the X in espresso. Your hair, girl, <laughs> is on fleek this morning. Margot, what is happening in the world of beauty? So we know about contouring. Yes. Basically every celeb, Kim K owns it. It's all about light and shadow and how to make your, your cheeks look like celebs. Now, yes. contouring takes a lot of time. You basically need your own makeup artist and you need to dedicate <laughs> at least 10 to 15 minutes, as yeah. we all yeah. know, to contouring. <laughs> True. So, this very clever beauty entrepreneur in Ireland of all places has come up with Tontouring. Love Ton it. What is that? Tontouring is self tan. <gasps> so you only need to apply once a week and you use a variety of different colors of self tan, dark and light again, with different brushes, a lot of blending, yeah. and you have contoured chisel cheekbones That's amazing. for a week. That wow. is amazing. I know. That's that is so pretty cool. cool I still feel like you need to leave it to the professional stuff. <laughs> yeah, it could be a little bit hazardous. I know. <laughs> because if you get it wrong, it's, it's wrong. It's a lot of trial and error and a lot of makeup remover. That's true. But um, I I think it's worth it once you've got it down. Okay, well, mm, you, you're gonna try that and then we'll all yeah, come back yeah, to you yeah. after that. Perfect. Leave it to the pro. Robin, tell us about the newest collab in the world, oh, footwear. So exciting. Everyone's talking about so it. So exciting. Sophia Webster has collaborated with none other than all of our favorite Barbie <gasps> to create shoes for our wardrobe. Barbie's Stop coming it. home, girls, and it's fitting our feet. How amazing is that? That is amazing. She's the perfect fit, though, for Barbie. I mean, Sophia, oh. she loves pink, obviously. Oh, she's yes. bold, she's brave. There's so much adornment. Oh, I love the cuteness. Just, and about the sneakers, it's the first time in 56 years that Barbie gets to wear a flat. Oh, oh my word. word. Thank that girl's feet. <laughs> that girl's feet must be feeling. Barbie's it. like, hello. Hallelujah! Finally, sports like for me. Oh, I was word. all about the sports She's gonna rock that flat, and so are we. It's basically being launched in London this yeah. week, yeah. just in time for London Fashion Week. So I'm looking forward to seeing which uh, fashionistas in the front row mm -hmm. are going to be sporting a bit of Barbie flash. I reckon Rihanna. Yeah. I reckon Rihanna. Definitely, yeah. barbie -liciousness. Especially the ones, she's done incredible ones with a bubble speech bubble, which is like Sophia's signature, and it yes. says Barbie in a speech bubble. Totally so. And Nicki Minaj too. <laughs> and Nicki Minaj, yeah. definitely. Awesome. And now Alexis, um, the, the girl who I know has just like one facial expression, apparently <laughs> is going to be in, a, <laughs> has been caught, but it's the truth, in a new fashion film. Tell us more, what is Kristen's story? it up to yes and does she have another facial expression <laughs> so there have been a, a long line of actresses that have been you know deemed to have this role but uh, Kristen Stewart is going to be the next actress to play Coco Chanel <gasps> and it's what? not just for some independent film on the side some independent film company it's actually for the label themselves so Karl Lagerfeld is going to be in the director's chair that's amazing so I think that is some intense pressure there yeah. apparently the film is like a it's a behind the scenes look on a biopic that's yet to be made so Kristen Stewart is play, playing an actress that's playing Gabrielle Chanel Ooh. so that's quite an interesting mm, take like on it involved. Look, I mean Carl is an amazing director so I can see that it's going to be an incredible film but yes to your point um, I think Kristen's gonna have to step it up <laughs> but, but look she does have that very like androgynous mm. thing which Chanel did have, Coco mm. Chanel she did have, yeah. you know, she was one of the first women to wear pants yes. and she often kind of tailored yeah. men's wear to suit her. So in that way, perhaps this could be the perfect role. And she's amazing. also totally mysterious, at, yeah. like Chanel, you know, you yes. don't know enough about her, you want to know more about her. Yes. So, so perhaps this is, this, I think this is a good fit. And also, I mean, Kristen, she's, you know, walked the couture show, mm. she's appeared in the advertising yeah. campaigns. So, no, you know, she's Absolutely. got that love with Karl Lagerfeld yeah. already. Yeah. No, I, I respect her as an actress. I think she's amazing, but she does kind of like always mm. look like she's smelling something. Like, <laughs> oh my what's God, that? that so anyway, thank you so much, Fash Pack. You guys have been amazing. Thank you for keeping us up to date with what's happening in the world of gossip and entertainment. Happy Friday. We'll see you guys next week, same time, same yes. place, yeah? Same okay, time, same place. awesome. Well, I see him in the kitchen. He's ready to rustle up some grub. Ewan, what you got?